Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Mad 8 today and today it's Carl's 10th birthday. The date today is the 25th of January 2018. It's, it's actually his 10th birthday. Now this is quite a rare occasion for him because Carl's actually getting a brand new Hoovers. A brand new. Um, last year he had a, a DC24 um, drawing. Sorry. Which was a parts not working machine for his birthday, which was a highly collectible um, just, slicer. Just rip this wrapping paper. Yeah, rip, rip all the wrapping paper off, mate. So this time. This time, Carl's got a. Uh, a well, this is basically Dyson's latest budget upright. This is the first, it goes out of his collection, this is the very first um, upright Dyson that Coles actually had brand new in the box. Yep. So we've got this one there, we've got, I got this one. Um, these things here, if you want to buy this particular model, um, these do not come on sale very often. They always got the yet. They've got the yellow one on sale, which is the standard model. But this is the hey, Dad, animal version. And when they bought it, they carried it in a grant. Yeah, and the main reason why he wanted the animal version because in most of his upright. What day you got this one, Dad? Oh, well, I'll tell you later on. Mm. Most of his upright cleaners he actually he, he owns um, from Dyson are actually unloved um, things with ones had things wrong with it. Broken yeah, parts. Nate, Nate, um, the I can remember the the DC40 ad that had a, an issue with it, which needed to be fixed, which is a fiver and a fix. But so this one is his first ever what, what brand happened? new what, what, upright. What, what happened? It goes noise. Uh, what uh, what the curries one made? Well, it, it would go. It would go back to curries. Well, I actually bought this one from curries. It's going to go back to your curries and make so that noise. So basically. Uh, the thing with curries is because Carl uses um, them vacuums because he uses curries quite well, a bit. No, tested I, vacuums out and no, looking they're, around. They're, they're keen. Last Friday, they keen them one out. The I generally them. got this from curries as well because if it was shipped, that it may not have come in this condition. Um, hey Dad. So it's got a. So it's actually in really good. Got the well, I'll tell you later. Yeah, let me. So this one is his very first, and the reason why he wanted this one because it has got the epicyc. Oh, get it on. Epicyclic drive t technology, which is Dyson's latest head. Now we'll get this one out of the box first. We got those poles. Right. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll give you one of these, as we we want to. So that's like the Henry's. Run. Yeah, it's very much like a Henry. So I'll give him a hand with this just to get the flaps off. I want to do a, a little shout out to one of his teaching assistants. So Kelsey, shout out to Kelsey. Yeah, so um, yeah. I'll just give him a hand with this because we're going to retain the box here is inside the box. <sighs> this is the uh, the head. Mm, you don't so, want to come out. Yeah, see this one here. We'll take this head out now. What's that? Head. This is Dyson's well, latest head. Latest. It is a lot bigger. Um, it is actually what you call a direct drive head. Um, so that's that one there. So that's an angle. This thing. Oh no, this. Oh, look at that. Look. Welcome to your new Dyson machine. You've got to register. That's one thing I would recommend is I will be registering this one today. If you buy it over the uh, places like a, a retail shop. You need to register it, but if you buy it direct from Dyson, they do it automatically. So is this? This is actually. So it has got the revised tool attachments. You'll have to pop this on. Yeah. Yeah, we know our way around this, don't we? And it's got the brand new kinetic kind of one. So it's got the two. In, well, this is a two-in-one tool, isn't it? Because you can take the end off. Yeah, it doesn't matter, mate, because the packaging will be going. The box will be staying. Um, 
There's the instruction manual. There's the instruction manual. So basically, when you register, you need to put this. Um, you that, can either do it by phone or online. That's that clip. That's the latest tool holder. Which means when you buy a used DC40, there's normally missing off it or not ever put on in the first place. So you want to make sure you put this one on when you buy this one, then, because it says the tools don't go on. Ah, now this is the difference between the standard model and the uh, the mine. animal. This is the tangle sheet, but has got the latest fittings on it, doesn't it? So some people sell these on eBay. Yeah. Well, look at say which I'll tell you what, we'll move this one out of the way, look. There's the natives. So that is his that's the main difference between the animal. The only difference in the animal and the standard model is the colour and that tool. So if you so if you wanted uh, a, a new a new upright and they only had the yellow one in, then um there are options how um how to fit them on. But um and the vacuum you can actually the vacuum's coming out the, the thing it's coming out next is the Dyson so this one actually is a very nice colour uh, scheme indeed oh Paul Paul right it's I just want one do put everything in the side of the box oh but yeah put all the bits back in the box in don't know so I think <laughs> this is um like I said Sorry. this is Dyson's uh, budget machine, I would call this. Shut everything in. Um, the main reason. Well, I don't know what to do. Yeah, chuck it over there, mate. Got distracted, man. No. That! Well, I've got plenty of cleaning up when he's gone to school. This is before he goes to school in the morning, he actually goes to school. Um, today, he'll be picked up at. Half past nine, so his school day's a lot shorter than a normal uh, child. And then he does come home a little bit earlier than the normal child as well, so. The meter box is filled. Now, we're getting the machine out now. He's doing a good job on this, really, because considering Christmas he was a bit over overwhelmed with it all. Um, My birthdays are not better. Yeah, your birthday, you know the routine with that one. And and the thing with him is he knows it's better to, to actually let him have choice about what he wants for his birthday. Um, with Christmas and that, you know, he's not too sure what it is. But as you can see, look, this is the latest machine. Now, these bins will not, will not stay like that very long, especially where we live near the coast. Uh, there, we do get a lot of um, grit. In, in the carpets and, and the rugs, don't we? Because of the uh, being so close to the coast. So that's just a protector. To protect the, um, I think the, the hose looks a little bit bigger, doesn't it? So. Yes, it can go all the way up the shed. So this hose, I, I do believe, looks a little bit wider than the original no, hose. No, it can, it can go all the way up the shed. Um, this Look, one, the handle's the same. So that just clicks on like that. This is how you build it, mate. And then you just stick the top in like that. Well, actually, on the let's push it down. Yeah, these are always a bit stiff. Hey, don't want to go in. It will do, mate. It's because it's new and stiff. It went in the floor. Right, shall I help you with yeah. this? Right, I'll get them. Yeah, you've, you, um, they are a little bit stiff because of the. Once you have them in there, the hose will actually expand. It's because it's a brand new machine. No, I want to have it on all saws. That's all saws. So the middle is for all floors. Um, now, the I main have to reason, nail it down. Now, people might think, well, why have they actually updated this machine? Look. There's one of two reasons. The first reason was... Um, look, look where you should take the bus bow out. The first reason is... Look, look how easy it takes bus bow out, look. So, if you have a look at this. In fact, what we'll do now, we'll get the the older heads um, brush bar. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll just get it quickly and show you the difference, difference between the old and new brush bar. This is 
of the ERP model, which was of a, I think, a 40, uh, which is the same machine. And if you put it side by side. You sell horrible. Oh, do I? Yeah. And that's the new one, so it's a lot bigger. Now, the idea is. Look how big the motor is and get rid of that. Right, so that's the old one, so there is a lot of big difference. The motor is. It has a direct drive um, motor in it. Um, now, what did the man yeah. say? He said that there's you get more torque and power with the, uh, yeah. the motor mounted look. inside look. Look. the brush bar. Look, look, done. Yeah, because originally the brush bars were actually, the motors were on top and you had a gear and a tooth belt. Yeah, there's a there's a filter. Yeah. It's making that kind of noise. Yeah, they always make that noise. Yeah, they got a tooth belt on got it, and he said that got a fifty. You get higher torque and higher performance in, 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 by in mounting this, the motor inside. And as in, you can see, this one's not quieter. This one has a fairly big. Oh well, I would like to see the actual. Uh, it's got to be probably a hundred, um, it's got no. to be a hundred watt hour, I'd say. No, this is how big the motor is. I have to find a bit. That's a bit, oh, that comes off. That's a big motor is. So it's a very big motor. brush bar indeed. So then fa that will spin actually faster than the old one because there's more uh, surface area. Because motors only spin at one speed. So if you increase the size of the brush bar, um, diameter is actually going to spin faster as well. Yeah. So it's all been calculated. Um, these are quite a unique machine no one, be no because one, these are no only one. available in Europe, aren't they? Yeah. Because the US machines haven't got the uh, the 900 so, watts. Um, just shut up. And I wanted to do. I wanted to put the head on first. Go on then. I wanted to put the head on first, and now I wanted to put this on. Go on then. So yeah, that's the main reason. Is it clicked? Yeah, it's clicked in. Got to make sure they click in. No. I want to show them the bandage tube on it. Yeah. That now, one's screwed up. This one here, um, you used to have on the the 40, you used to have a flip. Um, you used to have a flip bit. I see that it's got those newer style tubes, hasn't it? Yeah. Very much better than a small ball, but bigger, isn't it? But yeah, they used to have an access, um, like a flip thing, you used to be able to, this one's screwed in, and that one, in fact, has a Torx head screw, which basically means if they put Torx head screws on, you're not supposed to actually open them up. Um, Dyson have a rule as Torx head is an engineer job, and the, the Phillips not heads. Not sure, me! The Phillips heads. Not so sure us! I mean, they have made it a lot easier to access this one because this one here to undo the brush to actually get blockages out you had to undo lots of screws and as well the this one doesn't the, have the, the cable shouldn't have the a cable tie don't come off shouldn't have a line of shame on this one should it it did ah uh, ah uh, what's a cable the cable tie don't want to come right. off the tie don't want a chest all right and that's why I wanted to cut it off. Alright. Look. It's alright. We've got two. Didn't go through the table. Mm. So we're just going to build this one up quickly. And the main reason why Dyson have built a budget high performing machine is because if you think about it, well. Hey, what... now the cable's tango! Alright. And that's why I made one of this cord with the chat. No. What Dyson basically have done now is, this is a budget machine, they've put their newest kit on it. But if you think about it, more people will buy a cordless machine. And they may only use a, their upright maybe once or twice a week. So why have a £520 kinetic big ball, which you only use twice a week, when you use your cordless a couple of times a day, and you see so you don't need that large bin capacity as much as you would... Um, on on, so that's the main reason why they brought this one out. Um, so it is a clever idea, because obviously they know from stats. I mean, we go in there. Why? Why is all like this all chested? We went in there Boxing Day. It's all right. Well, what we do? I don't like it. 
Yeah, it's because it's wound up, mate. Why? Why does it wound the wires up? Right, I'll bet sort of so, yeah, that's the main reason. So Carl just wants to give this a quick go. Yeah, and I don't like this tangling. Yeah, but you're doing it the wrong way because you're tangling it back up again. That's it. And once it winds on... It's so tangling, it's just always getting in knots. Well, you can use it like that. It'd be fine, mate. No. That's why... I, one, one didn't put a seven cord one built in the mess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think they've got the room and the weight. It's a weight issue with them. They can't put too much into it. So they want to keep these a light weight because it's called a ball light because it is a very light machine. So this one does come with a five year one. Static DT4, it's got the Barney Sim Panasonic motor in this. Yeah. So do you keep It's a very quiet machine to be. Um, it is the latest push bar as well. I um, mean, it actually has, like you say, most of his. Um, most of his cleaners he actually has in the collection of his basin uprights are actually animals, aren't they? Because you like the, uh, the colour purple. And that's the difference. They're actually quite good on the stairs with little tools, aren't they? Because we ain't got pets, have we? Oh, you've got a guinea pig? Yeah. Yeah, we've got that new smell in there, haven't we? Yep. So what basically Dyson did as well, he put a little baffle inside the filter um, to actually make it quieter, haven't they? I don't, I don't cut it this one in. Is it? Can you feel it gripping it? It does actually grip the carpet quite well. Yeah, it does. And you can see the groom lines as well. It's got the 24 motor on it. No, it'll have the, um, it'll have the same motor as the yeah. 240. That's what the 24 one down goes on. Are they? D24 motors are not tighter. Hmm. D24? So. Sounds exactly the same as D24. No, it's got more suction than the 24, mate. I think it's maybe 25. So, what basic Dyson have done, they've actually made the airway slip bigger. No, I, think, to I, think, increase. I think it's got that. I think it's got the handle fan on it to make it not powerful. Yeah. Because basically Dyson only use uh, Amatec. They use Panasonic now, don't they? Panasonic. So Panasonic we'll, uh, is rubbish. We'll get this one. And then I saw a beast. A beast motor. That's I mean, let's say this one will be. And I think this one will not be a daily driver. This will be a part of his collection. The Minos. Which is. The Minos. I got the Minos. Got uh, just an old Mina motor. The Old motor, I've got the old motor. So, it's all the same. This one is a 2017 model. Yeah. So, yeah, so very pleased with this. There are a few subtle changes to this one. Like I said, Dyson basically, mm -hmm. this is actually um, to complement the cordless because more people <laughs> buy cordless than they do in any other one. So, what you say now, Carl? And please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8 and thank you very much for watching. We'll do a couple of more videos with this one, but we're not going to overdo it. So, uh, yeah, so this is a collection piece mainly. It's nice, um, what can I say, um, pastel purple. Bye for now.